Okay, Jeff, the next chapter, chapter number 41, one of my favorite topics, question I get asked the most, and I think we all, whether you're a 2-5, you're a 5-5, five five, you're on the tour, whatever it is, it's the same problem that we all experience, and that's how do we close out a match. You know, we've won the first set, we're up 3-1, maybe 4-2 in the second, the finish line is just right there. And I love the title that you have to this chapter, which is chapter number 41, Become a Task Master When Closing Out a Lead. What, is, what does that term mean, Task Master? Task Master essentially, of course, is being in the, in the moment, focused on the task at hand. A lot easier said than done, right, given what you're saying. But it sounds like you've got a system, you've got a plan once you get there, as opposed to the old thing is, well, just keep doing what you've been yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I mean, this is why I created Fearless Tennis, and uh, because we all love to win. They're, they're, it's very enticing. It's, you know, the the finish line is right there in front of us, and we want to have that experience. We want to win, and it'll you know look good, feel good. And there's this, it, you know, we're we're also sort of wired to to seek reward, and you know, and um, and so. It's very enticing, and, and knowing that is helpful because the brain will go there. It will go there. Even when you're, you, you know, have these strategies, it will go there. But the key is how to bring it back to the moment, bring it back to the task at hand. So you, of course, have to be aware of when your mind starts jumping into the future, which it will, um, sometimes more than others based on the tournament and who you're playing and all of that. Um, but, uh, you know, really we, we have to get ourselves back into into the moment and again you know focused on what is it that, how do we really want to play I mean I believe winning is is like a morphine shot and I talk about this in my CD I mean, it feels good for the day for maybe 24 or 48 sure. hours right but it fades and I promise you that the people watching within a minute or certainly 10 people are thinking about other things they're right. going on where am I gonna go for lunch now and and, it, and it's satisfying to win, but I believe there's something more important than that even, which is hitting the ball the way we want to hit the ball. Uh, hitting, you know, stepping into the ball, hitting the shots that we know we can hit, you know, going for the down the line return or, you know, stepping in on that cross court ground stroke or, or maybe attacking the net, that there's a way to approach the ball, a way to hit the ball. Part of that is being loose when you hit the ball and, and really getting clear about that, about how do you want to play. And, and that becoming so important to you, you're, you're even willing to give it up over the, the result. And while that is very hard to do and right. it, it's a process, I think that you can really get the upper hand on that fear and the projecting into the future because you're playing the way you want to play. So you come back to the moment, the task at hand, and really focus on you know, the shot you want to hit in that moment and you trust it and you do it without that indecision. Well, I think you just brought up a couple of key words there. Number one, trust. And I think the commitment to play the shot the way that you really want to. And I think what happens is a lot of players, when they get ahead, especially against someone who's either their equal skill level or even better, is they don't really trust that what's got them there is gonna get them through the finish line. So they and have lack confidence. So they have a lack of confidence. That they're actually going to get the win. In fact, what I think also happens is when you're leading, you pre start protecting. So p players often, often play tentatively. Right. Uh, and of course, the other, the opponent is down four two or five two, and now they're kind of loosening up and say, "I'm out of here." Right. So the protection of that is is you know a problem, and so you you really need to continue to focus on what your game is and visualizing how you want to keep playing the task in that moment that shot right I think that's a good thing about protecting no no question and once you go into protect mode I mean it's like National Football League you know this prevent defense guys are scoring all over the place yeah and I and I think even if we win playing tentatively and we kind of squeak it out which we think we're you know right we may uh, we don't feel good about right. it so we won but we don't really feel great about it. We, can, we know that we didn't play our game. Right. And I think uh, ultimately when we lay our rackets down, this is how we want to feel, is that we went for our shots under pressure, and we sort of, I think having a mantra can be helpful, you know, one point at a time, 
one point at a time. You know, enjoy this. Play your game. I'm playing for me. I'm playing for me because your brain will go there. Right. So you need to, like a dog, you know, on a leash. You need to keep bringing it back to the task at hand. Back to the task at hand. Yeah. So.